you know that India spends over 70 billion US dollars on defense every year? Yet the Tejas fighter jet, a symbol of indigenous pride, is still waiting for a new engine. Let's dive into why that is. So what's the deal with the Tejas fighter jet? This aircraft is not just any fighter. It represents India's ambition to become self-reliant in defense technology. But the heart of this jet, its engine, is where the real challenge lies. Today we will explore the significance of the Tejas and why the new engine development has been such a bumpy ride. Let's get into the nitty gritty of the challenges that India faces in developing a new engine for the Tejas. First off, there is the technological hurdle. The current engine, the Kaveri, just doesn't cut it in terms of power and efficiency. Engineers have been striving to create a powerful engine that can match international standards. But it is easier said than done. Hello and welcome to News Affairs. Before we proceed further, we request our viewers to please subscribe this channel if you have not yet subscribed. If you find the video informative, please like and share the video. Then there's the bureaucratic red tape. You wouldn't believe the number of approvals and processes involved in defense projects. Delays caused by government procedures and lack of funding can seriously slow down development. It is frustrating when you think about how this jet could boost India's defense capabilities if only the engine issues were resolved. Now, let's delve deeper into the technical aspects of the Tejas fighter jet. This aircraft is designed to be lightweight, agile and capable of operating in a variety of combat scenarios. Mm -hmm. But without a powerful and efficient engine, all those cool features don't mean much. A new engine is essential not just for performance but also for enhancing the aircraft's range and payload capacity. The Indian Air Force calls for increasing Tejas fighter jet production to address its squadron strength needs. Grappling with just 30 fighter squadrons when at least 42 are needed to tackle China and Pakistan. The Indian Air Force has called for majorly ramping up the production rate of the indigenous Tejas fighter jets, even using the public-private partnership route. Will the United States company General Electric begin from November onwards the much delayed supply of GEF 404 turbofan jet engines which powers Tejas Mark 1A fighters? It remains to be seen. Indian Air Force wants to induct around 300 Tejas fighters over the next 15 years, which will require Defense PSU, Hindustan Aeronautics Limited, to step up its production rate in a major way. The implications of these delays are significant for national security as well. With regional tensions rising, having a capable indigenous fighter jet is crucial for India's defense strategy. Did you know that China has stationed multiple squadrons of J-20 stealth fighter jet just 150 kilometers away from the Sikkim border? Every day that passes without a new engine is a day where India's air superiority is compromised. It is a race against time and the stakes are incredibly high. Recently there was a pivotal movement in the Tejas engine saga. An announcement was made regarding a partnership with foreign companies to expedite the development of a new engine. This news sparked hope among defense enthusiasts, but it also raised questions about the reliance on foreign technology. Can India truly achieve self-sufficiency in defense, or will it always be looking outside for help? This movement really underscores the ongoing struggle India faces in its quest to develop the Tejas fighter jet fully. We have covered a lot about the Tejas fighter jet and the crucial need for a new engine. The challenges are real, ranging from technological setbacks to bureaucratic delays. But the importance of overcoming these hurdles cannot be overstated. The future of India's air power depends on it. So what do you think? Are you optimistic about the Tejas program? Or do you think India should look for alternatives? Please let us know your thoughts in the comments below. And if you are interested in more discussions on India's defense technologies, don't forget to check out our other videos. Jai Hind!